Wouldn't it be great in Fusion if you could dynamically edit everything without having to open a single sketch or create a fancy new loft or extrude? In Fusion, there's a really neat tool under Modify called Offset Face. What this lets you do is make changes dynamically to your model, but it's taking into account the rest of the design and trying to keep with that design intent. If we look at this other model, as we kind of investigate different parts of this, we can see the behavior. So with this offset face, I can select this edge. But before I do, let's actually try a little experiment here. What if we extrude this face? All it's adding is a rectangular extrude to this edge and it's ignoring everything else and it's adding a brand new extrude down to the timeline once we accept. There's our new extrude. Going back a step, let's look at the offset face. And so I'll select this. It keeps all of this geometry in mind. As I drag it, you can even see it's widening and it's keeping the cylindrical feature. Very cool. So pretty different than if you were to try this with the extrude. If I come in and I try this back face, I'm gonna right click and repeat the command and I'm gonna select this one. This is planar. So it's basically going to look the same as if we extruded it. The back side, it's going to try to keep the whole model together and lengthen that. A quick visual of this, what Fusion's really doing behind the scenes is similar to if you were to create a series of offsets with surfaces. I've created a series of surface offsets, and if you look at it, it's basically this face extended out, but the radius is increasing. I'll select the offset, we'll increase, drag it up. You can see the whole thing is extending out and the radius is increasing. Hey, so I've created a series of cheat sheets and guides for assemblies, beginner tips. It is free. All you have to do is click the link below and you'll join my email list as well. If you don't like emails, no problem. Just unsubscribe. Okay, a few things to be aware of. We can bring this up. One thing that I thought was really interesting was when I drag this through, it looks like it's extending the model, but the preview is actually misleading. I click OK, it does cut it away. That's kind of strange. So something to be aware of there. We can bring this face down. It's planar, just like we would if we extruded. It's keeping that thickness there. And one challenge I found was it is sensitive to which face you select. So in this case, if you were to select this filleted corner, I don't know if that's, is, do you call that a corner? I'm not sure, but the fillet in the corner. So if we choose the offset, select it, it won't solve. Just gives you an error. If we now try just this one, that one solves okay. So it is sensitive to which face you choose. So sometimes you'll need to experiment a little bit with this one. Looks like it's dragging out. Let's see how it solves. It just cuts it away. Hey, so it's a pretty cool tool. Experiment with that offset face, open up some of your models and see how it behaves and keep that one in your back pocket. Sometimes it's helpful to use to make quick adjustments to your designs before you hit 3D print. And hey, if you're following along, I'll see you on Monday.